The secret of wealth accumulation is to know what actually money means. And you must know how to handle it. I have seen many people in spite of having very high income find themselves into debt. Well, in this video, I will be telling you about the 10 tips and tricks of money to get rich. Watch the video till the end as this video is going to change your life. Now let's start. 1. Knowing about money is the ultimate strength. Advice is easy to get by. True guidance might be hard to come by. There is no shortage of people articles, videos, books, teachers, financial counselors, consultants, reps, etc. offering their thoughts on how best to manage your finances. It's possible to find prejudice, inaccurate or erroneous information, or plain terrible advice in any of these sources. Now the question is, how can you safeguard yourself? Acquiring information is the first step. It's unrealistic to think you can become an expert in every facet of personal finance without knowing what money is. 2. Plan ahead or nothing will ever get done. Humans are creatures of habitual tendencies. Unless we are driven to make a change by strong emotions like fear or want, we will always choose the route of least resistance. Many of us go toward a sedentary lifestyle because we lack the self-control necessary to engage in active pursuits and make healthy food choices. We are only motivated to make positive changes in our lives when we have experienced enough shame while looking in the mirror, have been inspired by another person, or have witnessed the negative impacts of our unhealthy habits on ourselves or someone we care about. The same reasoning applies to budgeting. Nobody ever wakes up and thinks, you know what I want to accomplish today? Investigate the muddled state of my finances and work to transform it into a strategy for reaching my long-term objectives. Nope. No one. Why? Since this is not the norm for us. As a matter of course, we choose to disregard it. We forget about it until we are motivated to take action by some external force, good or negative. Do not make inactivity your habitual state. Instead, make a budget to get prepared for the future. 3. The Time Value of Money Ignoring the time worth of money is the next step when slothfulness becomes the norm for an extended period of time. Your finances might either benefit or suffer from the passage of time. It's helping you out with your investments but hurting you with your bills. Even if you have a dollar stashed beneath the mattress, it's losing value. Having doubts? Check out the CPI over the last seven decades. The value of your once mighty mattress dollar is steadily decreasing as the cost of living rises. Although time might be a drag at times, it can also be thrilling. If you put away $200 every month for 40 years and get a compound annual growth rate of 10%, you'll have nearly $1.25 million. In those 40 years, you would have put in just $96,000, the remaining $1.25 million is the result of compound interest and time. Tempting, right? Then why doesn't everyone just do that? Risk and return is the next guiding concept we'll discuss. 4. Take risk to get return. When it comes to money, the adage nothing ventured, nothing gained couldn't be more accurate. In general, you may anticipate a higher rate of return on your money if you're willing to take on more risk. No reasonable person would increase their risk if they didn't also increase their potential reward. Credit, inflation, liquidity, social, currency, legislative, and other sorts of risk should all be taken into account. Investing involves taking risks, and people have various comfort levels with taking those risks. 5. Taxes are crucial. The predicted return on an investment isn't the only factor to consider, taxes must also be factored in. As a general rule, the government will always receive its money. Your investment will be subject to taxes in the present and the future, and you should plan accordingly. It might cause you to rethink your investment strategy. 6. Liquidity is actually important. One thing that can be said with certainty about budgeting is that you will be incorrect. 
Even the most methodical budget has to rely on assumptions, and these might shift over time. Does it imply you shouldn't make any future plans? Not at all. Planning for the long and medium term is important, but not at the price of your short-term financial security. Put some money aside in case of an unexpected expense. Liquidity is the condition of having some portion of one's financial resources accessible at any one time. You should have three to six months worth of liquid cash ready to cover emergencies or unforeseen demands like losing your job, becoming sick, having automobile difficulties, needing to repair your house, etc. 7. Budgeting will save you. The immortal words of Ben Franklin, a penny saved is a penny got not much to it. Learn to keep track of your income and expenditures. Who among the Fortune 500 doesn't know how much money is coming in and going out of the company? Make plans for your future and develop the self-control to steadily advance toward those plans. 8. Be a safeguard for yourself and others. Insurance. That item everyone seems to own but nobody really wants. After a disaster has already struck is not the time to start worrying about your insurance coverage. Do yourself and your loved ones a favor and take the time to assess your requirements for health, life, disability, property and casualty, and long-term care insurance. Do your research before someone knocks on your door trying to sell you any, especially. In spite of its importance to your financial security, insurance is often misused. This relates back to the first rule of thumb, know your stuff before you make a choice. 9. The self is the worst enemy. My most recent read was The Little Book of Behavioral Investing, How Not to Be Your Own Worst Enemy by James Munnier. I think it'd be a good idea if you dug more into this idea. The core idea of the book is straightforward. To become a better investor, one must learn to control one's own instincts and emotions. Neither inflation nor salespeople nor bad 401k investment choices nor taxes pose the greatest threat to your future financial security. You are your own greatest threat. We found that the typical individual investor earned just 3.69% annually during 1983 to 2013, despite the S&P 500 index's annualized return of 11.11% over that time period. Don't give in to other people's ambitions or let yourself be swayed by your own ego, fear, the advice of so-called teachers, impulsive choices, or your own overconfidence. 10. Just do it. The hardest part of any planning process is always the execution of those plans. For most people, the hardest part is getting started and staying the course. This is a premise with which I, a recovering perfectionist, often grapple. If I can't get my head around how to get started, I don't usually go through with it. I once wasted an entire day sitting on the sofa thinking up the perfect workout routine. Although planning is important, you shouldn't get caught there. The trash must lie by the highway at some point. That's all for this video. Now you know all the tips and tricks to handle money and get rich. Don't just keep these tips as load on your brain. Instead, use these tips and tricks to get rich. If you can use these properly then I can assure you that these tips will make you rich. Almost every millionaire uses these tricks. Millionaires like Sir Elon Musk, Charline Munger, Jeff Bezos and many others have discussed about these in their interviews. Share this video with all of your friends and family members for them to learn. Press the subscribe button and also the like button below if you love watching this video. Comment below if you are having any queries or suggestions. Thanks for watching this video till here.